folks, this is Season 1, Episode 2 of Smoke Mountain Outdoors. Jaden Randall, Mark Gray, Sean Moyer, and uh, we hope you all enjoyed Episode 1. Here on Episode 2, we have some uh, big news to kick it off. And uh, after talking about it and reviewing the footage, we decided to add Calvin Wanheimer on as a uh, full-time member of Smoke Mountain Outdoors. So here on Episode 2, we're going to have a total of four hunts, including two rifle hunts by Jaden and Sean over there. And they're going to show you a little example of why we use... Remington Corlock ammunition. We also got two boat hunts from Mark Gray and Calvin Weinheimer demonstrating why NAP broadheads and nocturnal lighted knocks are a deadly combination. Alright, uh, y'all just go ahead and stay tuned and hope you enjoy this episode. Smoke them. Alright folks, we're going to start things off heading out to McMahon, Texas. We got a little pig hunt for y'all. I'm on the gun. Jaden Randall's on the camera. And, uh, you know, we're going to get a swine down, so y'all stay tuned. Smoke them. Alright folks, well, uh, probably about a 200 plus pound boar here, and uh, you can see all of the blood right here from that Remington Corlock, and really the shot goes right through this here, and comes out this here, it's a perfect shot right through the head, that's why he's strong, he got smoke. There ain't no doubt about it, I think he's got a little bit of a headache right now. Uh, it's uh, a lot of blood for uh, this tough shot, but there's no doubt he either holds Well folks, Moyer got it done down in McMahon, Texas with a big pig on the ground. Let's uh, send it out to Jaden Randall and see how his hunt's going. Well folks, on this hunt, I'm uh, up in Roaring Springs, Texas at the Diller Ranch. And uh, this is just one of those hunts I'll never forget. Uh, it was late in the season and me and Sean really hadn't had much luck uh, all year on seeing anything worth shooting really. And uh, it was frustrating because all summer long and all during bow season, we had big deer on camera. Uh, shooter deer, mature bucks, and uh, one in particular was a real wide eight point, about four and a half years old, and it was a deer we really wanted to take. And uh, so we just decided on this hunt to uh, change it up, and we flipped the coin, and the coin told me to go to the front gate stand, and it was a stand I hadn't hunted all year, and uh, I went there, and about 5:45, I look up, and there's a big eight point heading my way. As soon as I put my Leopold binoculars up, I knew this was deer we had been after. So I didn't waste any time getting the Browning 270 out the window. Alright folks, we just got him back to camp and man, I couldn't be any happier. This is a heck of a deer. He's not going to score 180, like I said in the stand, but uh, he sure does make me happy. It's a good deer. Um, it was a it was a weird hunt. Uh, we had some does come in at first, and then we had a six-pointer and a spike, and he came in at 545, and as soon as I put my binoculars on him, oh man, I knew he was a shooter. So, he got to the feeder, and uh, Hey, it's an eight point short brows, tiny leads, not very long. Uh, he's probably four and a half years old. This is the type of deer you want to take out right here. He's never going to be nothing more 
than this eight point he is right now. So uh, it's a good deer to take out. Uh, I just would like to thank Sean Moyer for coming with me, being here with me on this trip. Uh, he's next. He's going to get a big buck next. I'd like to thank Tom Taylor, Thomas Blackwell uh, for letting us hunt up here at the Diller Ranch. Really appreciate it. And it's a heck of a deer. I remember this one for for a lifetime for sure. Y'all stay tuned because a long season left and a lot more deer to put on the ground. Jaden Randall, smoke them. Wow, what a great hunt from Jaden Randall. You know, that was a nice eight pointer he got on the ground. And we're going to head out to Calvin Weinheimer and see what he can get done. And you know what? No matter what he tells you, I promise you I was not sleeping during this hunt. This is Calvin Weinheimer on Smoke em Outdoors. It's the last evening hunt in Mador, Texas. Me and Jaden went this morning and we saw a nine point, uh, a doe, a spike, and a little, I think he was about four or five point buck. And Sean Moyer slept in. I don't know why. You don't know nothing about hunting, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. Love you, Sean. But, hopefully there's a spike. We've all been seeing a spike out here by the stand. And it's right by Coon Stand. We've been seeing a spike there. But hopefully it shows up so I can smoke them. Stay tuned. All right, folks, just came here to pick up Calvin, and he got another one on the ground. What do you think? Well, this place surprised me. I get a doe every single time. I mean, got doe the first evening, spikes the second evening. Can't wait to track them and find them. Well, Having lots of fun. Let's go. Kills on Max. Let's see what he got. I got the tag filled out for him, so hopefully we find him. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got for him? Oh, yeah. Lots of blood. Oh, right there, too. Man, surely it can't be too much farther after all this blood. Nope. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's following this trail. There he is, right there. Where? Down. Is that oh, yeah. Or is that a rock? Oh, it looks like a deer. Yeah. That's him. Well, once again, I was in the stand for maybe 15, 20 minutes after y'all dropped me off, and here he came running up. He got within about 10 yards of me. I thought he was going to smell me. He backed up about 20. And I texted old Jaden and said, a spike shut up, and he said, get him. So I let that arrow release. And I guess it found his mark. <laughs> That's a good shot. Look at this hole I made here. Kills on Max. Tore up another one. Flip it over. Oh yeah. It's standing broadside perfectly. And broadheads do some damage. Well folks. That's what I came after on the spike this evening. You got, got him. him. Well folks, that was a good hunt from Calvin Weinheimer up there in uh, Roaring Springs, Texas at the Dillard Ranch. He uh, really showed you why we use an AP broadheads. Now let's take it out to Mark Gray in Cross Plains, Texas. Alright folks, on this hunt, I'm out here in Cross Plains, Texas, hunting the Flying K Ranch. And uh, I'm up here in the hubcap stand, and we've been getting some real nice pictures of some bucks on camera on our Wild Game Innovations trail cam. So there's been uh, three real nice bucks that have been showing up on the camera, and you know, I'd just be lucky to see any of the three come out. So y'all stay tuned to see what happens. Well, sure enough, I was sitting there in the stand, and about 20 minutes after daylight, this big nine point that we've been seeing on camera walked out and you know he stepped out and I drew my bow back at full draw and right as I drew back he turned and so I had to sit there at full draw for a few minutes before he turned broadside for me.
All right, it's been long enough, so let's see if I can find that butt. This is right where I shot him. Into the feeder right here. We got all this nice blood right off the start. And then he ran back this way, so I'm just gonna try to follow the trail. I saw him go back through there, but I'm just gonna stick with the trail. See where it takes me. Oh, he's right in the road. Oh, yeah. Not a bad buck right there. Not bad. Mark Gray right here with Smoke em Outdoors. And I got it done this morning. Taking out this nice buck. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got nice mass on him. For a West Texas buck, this is, uh, it doesn't, doesn't get too much better. This is a nice buck. And uh, this buck, sent this Hoyt right here to retirement because I got me a new bow a Matthews but for this bow it's the last one to go with it because this is a nice buck right here and this Hoyt got it done like I said I didn't get much penetration but those NAP Spitfire Max broadheads I got on there did the job done and you know, like I said, it don't get much better than this. It's a nice buck. I'm really proud to take him. So, uh, y'all stay tuned, and hopefully some of the other guys can get the job done as well. Smoke them. Well, folks, we hope y'all enjoyed episode two. You already see why we shoot NAP broadheads and Remington Coolock ammunition. It gets the job done, and that's what we do here at Smoke em Outdoors. There's more of that where that came from in episode three, so y'all stay tuned. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but we got new Smoke em Outdoors hats in. We got 42 new hats on the way. So if you're interested in purchasing one, then just check us out on Instagram. We'll have all the information posted there. And uh, now that Deuces is over, we're going to have our first annual Smoke em Outdoors Big Pig competition. It's going to be between me, Mark, Sean, and Calvin. It's going to go from now until deer season starts again. And the uh, biggest pig is going to take it. May or may not be a case of beer online, so we're going to take it pretty serious. Y'all make sure to follow us on Instagram at Smoke em underscore outdoors, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure and stay tuned for episode three. Smoke them.